Hey, Bubba, how's it going? Hey, Scott. Happy 4th of July. Same to you, brother. I'm proud to be an American. Or at least I know I'm free. You got that right. In these times when immigrants are trying to invade our country every day, it's more than ever time to be thankful for that and thank God for our freedom and the fact that we have the freedom to speak and to do whatever we want. Dang straight. And more than that, thanks to our soldiers for protecting our freedom. It's really a day to remember things like that. And our police here at home. We should head on down to Bill's place with the kids and do some fireworks. Uh, fireworks are illegal this year. There's increased patrols heading out to punish anyone who has fireworks. Well, you know, I'm sure it's for our safety. <laughs> You gotta keep those fires down. Those firefighters are working day and night to keep us safe. But we could go hang out at the lake, maybe do a few beers. Oh, uh, I, I just talked to Frankie. He said that alcohol is banned in the park. They'll arrest you for that. But uh, we could we could hang out here in the yard. We better sneak it in the back though, because the new outdoor grilling ban. As long as I think if we sneak it in the back. It'll be just fine. Yeah, it, it's just that my neighbor's a cop and I wouldn't want to make them, you know, uncomfortable. We may not be perfect, but at least we're not North Korea and I am proud to be an American. Please release my hand. Can you please put that down? Can, uh, can, can I hold it with this hand? Is that all right? No, because I need both your hands. All right, well, let's put it right here. Hey everybody, it's Gavin Sign. Hope you guys are having a good day day. It's that time of year again when I get to see videos and posts and my feeds full of American flags and people saying, I'm proud to be an American. Fourth of July, Independence Day, the day we celebrate when we threw off the shackles of government for freedom. Sir, yes, sir. I would appreciate sir. if you would take this down. Sir, do you know why? It's, do you know why it's upside down, sir? Now. You, calm down, It does sir. not matter why it is upside because down. Because the nation is it upside down. It does not belong upside down. I did not spend six years of my life defending this son of a gun for sir, you to stand here with it upside down. If you want, down. then turn the nation right side up. And you get to enjoy this for the next few days while everyone's talking about their flags and saying they're proud to be an American. Now, of course, most of the people saying this don't actually even know what America is. This is actually America, and and this, and this, and this, and this, and all of this. Yeah, those places are America. And those freedom things that they're talking about that they don't actually have, that they'll get arrested if they exercise, those are the United States, and spreading that fascism all over the world. Of, of course, those soldiers keeping us safe actually haven't protected any of the freedoms we wrote down in this. They follow orders or they go to jail also, which actually makes our military the biggest terrorist organization in the world as we go around invading other countries, bombing their schools, and inserting presidents and rulers that will be puppets for our politicians. But don't worry, we have the police here at home keeping our streets safe from theft, from murders, from rapists, and just generally making us feel safe and completely protecting this, right? Well, no, not at all. They're not protecting that because the Constitution isn't actually relevant. When we've been brainwashed to a point where we're this guy, to respect hey, your you country. Guys, if, if you can't you respect your country, you got to turn your flag up. That's no, a flag code under the these country. conditions is to be upside down. No, no, no. That's disrespect. That's saying our country's in distress. It absolutely is. This country is in a state in of distress. Treason. That's not true, sir. And I'm not giving you the right to record me. And we think that waving a flag and talking about freedom makes us free when actually we've gone so far beyond the tyranny that our founding fathers were fighting to escape from from England, it's kind of ironic because there seems to be no level at which the tyranny will get to a point where the gun-toting, patriotic, redneck, or blue collar will stop and say, you know what? I'm not celebrating my freedom because I don't have any. Now, I'm not saying if you have a day off, you shouldn't go out and have a picnic, guys. I just have to see this every year and the same people in practically the same breath 
talking about freedom and how we have to protect it. Those are the ones wanting to build a wall at the border to lock themselves in. Those are the ones wanting to lock immigrants in jail and saying, oh, no, no, I support the immigrants as long as they come here legally, even though the founding fathers said that there were no restrictions that the federal government could place on immigration and the borders were always open until more recent times. Even though virtually every agency and law of the federal government is a blatant violation, even though every police officer is out violating the fourth, fifth, and sixth, as well as our courts, even though people like Jeff Winehouse, Schaefer Cox, and Leonard Peltier are still rotting in prisons, even though the government controls our plants, our light, our rainwater, our electricity, how we drive, the permits we have, whether we can build a porch, whether we can light a firework, whether we can go out and drink a beer with friends, where we can do it, the age we have to do for everything, the location for everything, the revisions of our things without due process. It's practically illegal to have your family values or speak your opinions. The schools brainwash wash your children daily. If you step outside the line, the state will steal your children and sell them to someone else. You go to jail for feeding the poor. You go to jail for resisting being beaten by police officers. You go to jail for trying to exercise the Constitution in court. You go to jail for protesting for your lands. You go to jail for protesting for your people. If you're a native, your treaties are violated, your lands are stolen. If you're an immigrant, you're treated like trash and propaganda is created to make the good Christian, God-fearing patriot think that you're less than dirt. And then we all get together on the 4th of July and say, thank God I'm American. And we have no idea what it even means to be American. By the way, those of you who live in the United States are United Statesians. Everybody on the continent is American. So the next time you look at an immigrant crossing over the river, he has every right to do that. And you have zero right to stop him because there is no legal basis to have an immigration restriction. And no, a guy coming into the country to work is not an invader. He never will be, and he never has been. That propaganda was invented in the last few decades so that the patriotic, God-fearing Christian would support violence for-profit prisons and the destruction of people's lives to give government and politicians more power. But don't worry, your party will fix it this year. Just vote red, blue, pink, purple, orange, green. So if I sound negative, sorry, I can get this way sometimes because this world sometimes looking at what we do to each other does get me down a little bit. Something that I used to laugh at when I heard as a kid, no good deed goes unpunished. And those who try to take care of their families, try to stand up for what's right, try to defend their neighbor and love their neighbor, try to act like Christ, try to defend the innocent and the downtrodden, they get ostracized, separated, called terrorists, called traitors, and put in prison themselves. That in no means is a free country. And so the next time somebody looks at you, or God forbid, you think to look someone in the eye and say, well, at least we live in America. It's time to go to a map. It's time to look at what's actually happened in the world. Sit down with your constitution that your court has down there in the dirt as the police walk over and tread it in the mud. And it's time to say, hold on, Where's all this freedom that our soldiers were supposed to be protecting? Where's all the peace that our police are giving us? And why am I still part of the faction that keeps selling me the same brand of BS every year, pitting one faction against another so that we're fighting against each other as neighbors instead of looking over here to the terrorists running our government, invading countries all over the world, and making us enemies across the entire planet and saying, hold on, I'm not gonna tolerate you anymore. My freedom and the freedom of my children isn't granted by government. It's not granted by police rules. And I'm no longer going to fall for the scam that everything I get to do is by permit and by permission from jackbooted thugs who will shoot me if I don't obey. Maybe you can't change that right now, even as an activist or 
as a God-fearing person who loves your neighbor and tries to turn on the camera and stand up when these corrupt thugs are out there doing their corruption and expose them. But at the very least, you can get to the point where you know that the USA is not actually America. It's not actually free. It's not a God-fearing country. It's a criminal state, and the fact that we were born there isn't our fault any more than the fact that someone was born in Iran, in Mexico, in Colombia, or in Africa is their fault. Our job is to care about other people, regardless of what propaganda tells us, to do our best to love our neighbor and, I think, act like Christ along the way. That you have believe a nice day. the propaganda that is put Let, out to y'all by gentleman. the media. Let's pray for this gentleman. Please do. Father, we ask that you'll open the hearts of this nation, that you'll deliver us from, from our hatred for one another, for this nationalism that has destroyed the love of liberty, where we idolize a cloth over you and where we put fabric over men's rights. We ask that you'll open our hearts in humility. Help us not to be violent towards one another and angry, to be forgiving as you are, Father, and to be willing to talk and dialogue with one another and be men of peace and love and faith instead of men of hatred so that we can see the suffering of the people. And to try to stand up for something that's real. If we can do that this 4th of July or whatever holiday in your country celebrates independence that most countries don't have at all to varying degrees, maybe then we have something to have a barbecue about. All right, you guys, stay safe and peace.